What's up guys, XL Kiwis here and welcome back to another League SBC completed video. Um, we're going to be completing a Bundesliga SBC today, so if you could drop a like on the video, comment down below and also subscribe if you haven't already, that would be much appreciated. So uh, as you see on the screen at the minute as well, I've started playing squad battles this week, currently 4th, had an okay set of games there. Uh, it's not bad to play at the minute, during the week games are fine, it's when the weekend hits and you get so many games with work as well. I might be able to complete them, I might not, but either way, it's going to be boring over the weekend. But that's not what we're here for today. Today we're here for the Bundesliga SBC. As you can see, I've gone out and bought all the teams, so I'll just go out and uh, select all the teams and show you what teams I used and what players I used, etc. Some of the players were expensive. The whole SBC only cost me, um, I'd probably say about 200k, maybe less. It's only really the buying team that costs anything. Everyone else is pretty cheap. So as we, I'll just scroll through them. I'm going to speak a little bit about the uh, couple of patches that have come out. I don't think I've spoke about the first patch. And I'll speak about the patch that's now coming out as well. So the first one that I wanted to speak about was the um, patch with the middle button. Can't press the Xbox Home button anymore because of the uh, no loss glitch that was apparently happening. Well, I say apparently, it was definitely happening. And it's still happening. You can clearly see 28, uh, 38 wins doesn't even get you top 100 with low skill rating anymore, which it's just a lie. That's not the case. I mean, even when everybody was playing during qualifying months and everything, it was still 37. 36 at some points in weekends can get you top 100. There's no way that 38 wins is top 100. So there's still loads of cheaters out there. There's like three or four that you can do. Uh, the no loss glitches and that. And they brought out the uh, middle button to stop the cheaters. Although it did work, which I think it's a sloppy excuse of a patch. It's just, oh, they've got a, they should have cancelled Weekend League. Simple as that. They should have cancelled it. They should have fixed the issues properly. Because that middle button, the amount of times I nearly clicked it to record a game clip and had to tell myself and remind myself not to press it. I know other high quality players that have accidentally pressed it. And the amount of people that back out of the screens if you've got a good team because they don't even know about it or they just forget. It's just ridiculous. The amount of people getting losses because EA can't fix something in their own game is just silly in my opinion. They should have stopped Weekend League. They should have gone out and fixed it. Or even that, they should have done a proper uh, patch. They, I suppose it did stop one of the glitches. As I say, there's still loads of glitches. But it's, it did stop the one, but it would have given out so many unnecessary losses just because they didn't know how to fix something in their own game. So that's what I think on the uh, patch that's just been. The patch has come out on PC. Uh, I think it came out yesterday, uh, maybe two days ago when you're seeing this. It's come out on PC anyway, which means that it will come out on Xbox and uh, PlayStation. Uh, the first one, I've got it up here, addressed the following issues in all screens. Um, pressing the D-pad when using a controller would occasionally not register. That's when like you were searching on the transfer market or in your club or something and you were trying to use the D-pad and it just lagged or just didn't register at all. So they fixed that. Um, not something that I think really mattered in my opinion to be honest. If you're going to do a patch, what? don't do it on that. There's a lot more problems wrong with a game than D-pad. Quite, it affected quite a lot of people though. A lot of people didn't like it, so I could I could see why they've changed it. I mean, it's been in the game since the start, and it's not exactly something tough to fix, is it? So they've took their while doing it, but at least they've got it done in the end. That bronze player cost me two and a half k there, but that was the only other centre back, and their left back was expensive, so we needed to put him in. But um, yeah, and then made the following changes for Ultimate Team. In Foot Champions Weekend League, on the map preview screen, you will no longer see the status of your opponent. Um, update between making changes and ready, it will always display as making changes. That's because I think there was a, well, there was another uh, cherry picking thing come out where if you wait five seconds, then um, like high level players would wait five seconds. And if their other person didn't ready up first... Then, and it gone past five seconds, they'd just back out and not play each other. So now you won't know when they've clicked ready. So you'll just 
you won't be able to tell a time or anything. So that will be good for that. Stop uh, cherry picking again. There was a known issue with this change that sometimes results in the status of your opponent showing as blank. It will be addressed in a future update. I'm not too sure what that is, to be honest. I haven't seen it myself, so I'm not sure. Um, selecting the difficulty of a match in foot squad battles will no longer cause the player's default match difficulty settings outside of foot squad battles to be changed. I'm guessing that's something to do with um, if you change the difficulty, you'd go into like a single player mode and it'd be on that difficulty or something. I'm just taking a wild guess. And finally, in the preview panel for a foot champion's uh, channel replay, the match records displayed for the participating players will now reflect their record when that match took place instead of their current record. So instead of saying that they finished on like 30 and 10, it will say what they were when they beat them. So they might have been like 20 and 0 and then just had a complete collapse after that loss or something. So, and one of the other ones with addressed in Ultima Team was German and Polish text overlapping the button icons. Didn't affect me whatsoever. But so we got, we got two teams left to complete here. Also, I'm just going to quickly speak about my uh, Fortnite video. Uh, it didn't get many views, to be honest, but the views that it did get, the people of uh, the, the viewers watching have really enjoyed it and given good feedback on it. So I'll definitely look at um, uploading some more Fortnite videos. So you can look forward to that as well. Well, hopefully I can get some wins and then upload them. But yeah, I appreciate you uh, giving me some good feedback on that and I'll take it into account. But that's the last one completed. Claim a small rare gold players pack for that. And... Hello? Did I not complete them all? I don't know. I skipped a team. Uh, just show you the team for this. 650, 950, 750, 850. 1 1.2, the most expensive player there. And a player that I already had in my club. So we'll complete that for a small rare gold players pack. And we'll complete the SBC. There you go. Bundesliga SBC completed. And we get Thiago, 91 and 22,500 coins. Um, what are his in games like? Of course, he's 91 cards, so he's going to be good. Medium, medium's good. Five star skills, good. Four star skill uh, weak foot isn't bad. Good acceleration, poor finishing, very bad finishing. For he's got 97 volleys, but 74 finishing. That should not be right. His passing stats are phenomenal. Dribbling stats are very good. Balance is good. Reaction is good. Interception is uh, very good as well. Uh, stamina's stamina's not great to be honest for a 91 centre mid card. Jumping's okay, strength's pretty bad. Not a card that I'll use to be honest. This video is coming out quite late. Um, I didn't have any players. I'm going to make sure after this video I'm actually going to go out and buy all the Premiership players and all the Spanish League players. I'm going to sell Pogba for my team probably as I've got Rijkaard who does the same job. So I'll probably sell Pogba and then go out and buy all the Spanish League and all the Premiership players. So then when one of them comes out, I can upload, I can uh, do the video and upload it straight away for you guys. So as you can see, we've got a lot of very good packs, to be honest. I'd, I'd recommend completing this SBC. You get good packs out of it. Hopefully we can pack something good. Start with a jumbo premium gold packs. Um, if you watch my videos on my channel a lot, you'll realise that my pack luck is not great on this channel. I've done the um, 2081 plus improved Upgrade packs, I think they were. I don't know why I've just clicked for them like this. I done them and had okay luck. Uh, got okay luck in my uh, ultimate pack as well. In my last pack opening video. But yeah, you'll know that from all my foot champ rewards and everything, I get bad luck. So hopefully, I can pack something good. The only things that I do seem to pack that are half decent are untradeable. So these are all tradable. Hopefully, can get something good in them. I'll send Mourinho up to the transfer list. I'm not sure if he sells anymore. As we get into the next pack. Jumbo Premium Gold Packs aren't really great. That's why they're uh, used for the... What am I talking about? When FIFA first comes out, the uh, packs that you pay more for, the Icon Edition, sorry, you get the free packs. I, I decided not to waste my money on it. If I'm going to pay more for the game, I'd rather just pay normal price for the game and then buy FIFA points when it first comes out, rather than just getting bad packs. Very, very rare that you see somebody say they got a, something good out of their pre-order packs. So not a lot here so far, but it's always nice to store players in the club anyway. Um, there's no big players out at the minute, I don't think. No man of the matches or anything out anymore. But I decided to do the pack opening now as I need coins, to be honest. 
as I said, I want to go out and complete all the leagues. And then if I do want to add somebody in my team, it's just nice to have the coins out there rather than just having a load of packs in the club just waiting to be opened. Um, I'll open these premium mixed players packs now. Only a few golds in there, so might not get anybody good. No flare in there again. Just skip it if there's no flare. Come on, hopefully I can get something good though. That shy, I don't think he's going for anything. No, he's not. Um, Mexican league player, Spanish league player, which is nice as I'll use him. Calcio B, so he won't sell anything. Uh, sell for anything, sorry. As we move in to the next pack again. Can we get a flare yet? We cannot get a flare either. Didn't even get a rare gold player in that. So we'll skip that again. Turkish player, Belgian league player. My Elgato has been okay the last few days, so hopefully there's no problems with this video. Um, there was a problem with the Vicard icon that I was going to upload, but footage was just bad for that, to be honest. So I decided not to upload it, which was pretty disappointing because it was completing a prime icon, but I'd rather just not upload something that was that bad. Uh, send him to the transfer list. Come on, give us a flare, man. Oh, of course, my controller batteries are low. Hopefully they don't run out. Small prime gold players pack. Can we get anything in this? Haven't got a flare yet. We still haven't got a flare. How many packs are we in now? We're still without a flare. Consider they're not great packs, but they're still half decent packs. So I thought I'd have got something in. We've had a few 82s, but we've opened half of the packs and not had a flare yet. Considering they're all decent packs, that's pretty poor. I am hoping for at least one big flare. Right, we get a flare. No win form. Can it be anybody good? Spanish. Right wing, Napoli. Callahan. Surprised it's not Pedro. I packed the uh, Chelsea right wingers a lot in Pedro and William. So as soon as I see the Spanish, I was expecting. Well, I'd have rather Pedro as well as it been an 84. But at least we get a board there. Finally get a board. Um, what ones do I open next? I'll open a premium gold players packs. They're not usually great to me. None of the 25k packs are. The rare gold packs aren't great either. You only get three rares. Out of all the golds, yeah, see, three seventy sevens. That's why I'm not really a fan of these cards. Not got a lot of space on my transfer list, but should have enough room on there. So as we get into the next premium gold players pack, come on, give me something. Give me a flare. No flare again. Getting shafted for an absolute change. We get an eighty-two there. A couple of Spanish, French player there from random leagues might go for a little bit. Spanish Bundesliga players are going for a lot as well. So we get into a small rare gold players pack. Come on. Be kind, EA. Give me a flare. Right, there's a flare. There's no inform. Can it be somebody good, though? What flag do we get? English. Cam. Is that Deli Alley? It is Deli Alley. I'm a, I'm a fan of him on this game. Preferred him a lot more last FIFA. I used him a lot last FIFA. Even when I was getting top 100 every week, he was in my team. Just a solid player. You think he'd actually be a... Oh, he's still going for a bit, still going for around 8k. You'd think he'd be better this FIFA as he got a uh, skill moves upgrade from 3 star to 4 star this year. But we'll send him up to the transfer list anyway. Nice little pull there, it was an 84, that's 8k. So, a steady player. Not a good player, a steady player. It's not bad. Another pack without a flare. Come on, give me a big player, please. Only an 81 is the best player in there. I packed Weinsteiger a lot as well. I've got quite a few of him on my uh, transfer list, I think. As we get to four packs left and only two flares, I think. Or maybe three. I know it's three at most anyway. And nobody good. But uh, I think he's like the only Spanish Bundesliga player that's not really going for anything. Uh, he's still going for a bit, I suppose. If I put him... If I list him for like that, he'll sell. Yeah, there's a few. There's a right back and a centre back that I know have had their uh, price boosted to above 10k, and that Camacho as well. I sold for like 4k the other day. Come on, give me somebody good, please. Get shafted on me so much. How am I not getting a flare out of that pack? Come on, EA. This is awful. Why is my luck so bad, man? Awful pack luck. Only got. Four spaces on the trade pile left. Let's open the mega pack first. Come on. What is this? Please give me a flare. We don't get a flare again. Are you honestly kidding me? Oh, is that... 
Uh, Vanovic? No, it's, it's not even a Vanovic. It's some 79 rated player in a mega pack. Oh, this game is so frustrating. So often. There's literally... 95% of the time I play this game, I just get annoyed. And 5% is probably enjoyment. One pack left. Prime Gold Players Pack. Come on. This is why I've started uploading Fortnite videos. Because this game, at the minute, is dreadful. Right, we, f we get a flare. It's not an inform. Be somebody good. Argentinian centre mid Pastore. Worth it. So, out of 18 decent packs, and like half of them are good packs. Pretty good packs, to be fair. We get 184 and like 283s. This game blows my mind sometimes. It honestly does. Pack. Pack weight on this game is just awful. Along with the gameplay, along with pretty much all of FIFA 18. But I'm an idiot, so I'll continue playing it as I just love FIFA. But anyway, I appreciate you guys being here and watching the video. Again, awful pack luck for a change. Probably expect it by now. But if you could leave a like on the video anyway, comment down below what you think or if you've packed anything good from the uh, Bundesliga SBC. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. But that's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out.